Aloha friends, I'm out on my paddleboard, hanging out about, I don't know, half a mile from shore. Uh, this is whale month. February is whale month. So if you come to Maui, one of the best things to do is to watch the whales. You can see them from shore. Maui is the best place to do whale watching because, and you want to do it on like Kihei, Wailea area. Um, the reason is, is uh, it's very shallow here and it's like a natural nursery and it's very safe. There's no predators for the whales. So they come here and they mate and they have their babies. Um, so what's really great is when uh, there's a new baby because they have to come to the surface a lot to breathe and they're sometimes they're very curious and it just depends on the mother. If she's a new mom, she's probably not gonna let her, the baby get too close to me, but um, you know, as time goes on and you have more children, you know, the rules change, right? I'm just looking around because there's always stuff in the water here. Turtles, there was manta rays. We have some videos of manta rays. Um, but while I'm here chilling, I thought I should tell you about something very exciting. First off, over 3,000 pounds were lost on the carnivore challenge in one month. The month of January, I can't believe how well everybody did. I'm just so proud. Um, even doctors, people that went to go see their doctor, there was an immunologist that was just shocked at how great their patient was doing. She was doing the carnivore challenge. Maybe I should turn around so I'm not so dark here. The sun's on the other side. Um, getting off blood pressure medications or reducing their blood pressure medications. People are sleeping better. And it wasn't just because not everybody cut caffeine. I think about half the people did, um, but just eating right and learning how to eat right for weight loss was amazing. And people wanted to do it again. So I'm gonna step up the game. It's not a carnivore challenge. It's going to be a protein sparing modified fast and keto challenge. And the reason is I love carnivore for so many reasons. Uh, it's like the ultimate autoimmune protocol. However, by the time I make people eliminate dairy because dairy is not great for weight loss um, and lower the fat. So, you know, like pork belly and all that stuff's out. It's really quite limited. Okay. So if you're doing dairy and stuff, carnivore is fine. It's easy. I don't mind doing it. I love it. However, for weight loss, which I'm not trying to lose weight. When I suggest for weight loss, I do protein sparing because it opens up more ingredients for me. I still don't do things with oxalates and it's still not going to have broccoli, cauliflower, all that junk in it um, because the nutrients are poor. I do a very high nutrient dense protein sparing modified fast meal plan for you. So yeah, you get meal plans. They are delicious. They are easy. Um, so don't worry about if you don't like to cook. These are simple, 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 simple. And Craig's a mastermind at helping you uh, use up the leftovers. So like week one, it's really not that much cooking. You can spend time out on your paddleboard if you want to, watching the humpback whales. So yeah, don't be worried if you don't like to cook because it's easy. Um, and I think Craig's doing some really simple ways to modify if you don't like to cook at all. Um, yeah. And I don't know, I just wanted to invite everybody to the March challenge. starts March 1st. Uh, sign up start February 11th. And right away you'll get the meal plans, all the tools, the grocery list, everything you need to know. So you can start right away. Um, but yeah, a lot of people, we asked on the carnivore group, all the people who did that, would you want to do another carnivore challenge or protein sparing and keto challenge? And again, my protein sparing is a lot like carnivore, just adding in some more flavors garlic, things to add a little bit poof to your uh, food, which is great. And you could keep those out if you want to keep doing carnivore, it's fine. Um, but I'm just, I'm really excited. We get weekly meetings with me and Craig uh, every week. So it helps take the guesswork out. Sorry, I just want to face so I'm not so dark, but I don't want to drop my phone either. Um, you get weekly meetings with us. You also have support the whole time. You get meal plans. Um, you know, you'll get, you're going to do your macro targets so you can figure out how to do that. There's so many things there, like, there's so many details to it. People said on the challenge, I can throw some testimonies up here too, that they were surprised at how much they learned in one month that they just didn't expect all that. And think about this. It's cheaper than doing Weight Watchers and it can actually change your life and set you up for the future because protein sparing is great 
is a tool, right? It's a tool and we're gonna teach you this. Some people, if you don't know what it is, it's okay because you're gonna learn this. It's a tool. So instead of a water fast, you're gonna do a protein sparing modified fast approach to help you not lose any muscle mass as you lose weight. Um, people that are doing like the Wagovi or Ozempic, on average, you're learning, losing about 50% is muscle loss. That's like big time. When you do a protein sparing modified fast approach, it can be as low as 3%, which is a big difference. You wanna keep that muscle as you lose weight. It's so great for metabolic health and all of that. Um, also, you don't do protein sparing days every single day, and we're gonna teach you all of that. So if you are interested in the March challenge, uh, you can go to ketomaria.com. I'll have the link below for all of you if you're interested. Um, but yeah, just think, you know, you're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna have some fun. A lot of friends were made on the group, which was really special to see. And uh, yeah, anyway, hope, let's do some wishing for the whales. <laughs> Mahalo everybody. Oh my gosh, my friends, that was amazing. So. I came out here the next day and baby breaching right next to my board, like splashing me. It was so close. Amazing, really cool. But I want to tell you one more thing that I forgot to mention yesterday on the video. I'll patch these together. But sadly, you know, we're at February 10th and sadly a lot of people fell off the wagon. So the challenge, they did amazing. I have my braces in too if I have a lisp. During the challenge, people did amazing, like really, really, really amazing, losing weight, following the directions, following the guidelines. I think um, Aubrey mentioned to me, she's somebody who was doing the challenge. She said, you know what I loved about the meal plans? I only ate, I only ate what it said. I only did, if it was on the meal plans, that's what I had, nothing else. It was a guideline. It was a direction. She's like, I'm really good at following directions and your directions were to eat this and nothing else. And so I did. Then February happened and a lot of people didn't have direction. So they did whatever and then falling off the wagon, but not even just falling off the wagon, but not following a guideline and weight creeping in. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people are frustrated with themselves in February, but hey, that's okay. That's what March is gonna be all about. Join the March challenge and you can get back on track and feel amazing and yeah, like, do it with us because it's going to be a really fun challenge. I'm really excited about this one more than the carnivore challenge. So if you need a guideline, I'm here for you. When I was 16 years old, I was diagnosed with PCOS, acid reflux, depression, and IBS. Instead of taking those prescription drugs, I decided to change my life with food. Yes, food healed me and it's healed so many of my clients over the past 20 years of working with people. If you are interested in transforming your life, check out ketomaria.com. I'd be honored to help you.